Okay, hi guys. So we're gonna change strings today. We're gonna change them on a, on a bridge that has the new design tuners with the string through design. I hope I can give you some tips and tricks to, uh, to make that happen swiftly. Side snip to cut the strings. Three millimeter Allen key for the headpiece. Two millimeter Allen key for the grub screws. And then the trim block if you have an HO with a tremolo to block off the trim. Piece of sandpaper to get rid of the burrs. Okay guys, so since this is on a trim guitar, you get the little uh, blocker supplied that you can put underneath your bridge to keep it there once you take the strings off. So you can use your trim bar to slightly depress it and stick it underneath and then you're set to take the strings off. To take the strings off, you're gonna need a three millimeter Allen key and a two millimeter Allen key. And you wanna start by detuning the whole guitar, twist them all the way up to the front where they don't go any further without taking the whole cap off. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna take the grub screws that are in the tuner itself you want to take them almost out. I mean, you can take them fully out and then screw them in like one full turn and then it should be perfect. Unscrew them until you feel like you're at the end and then screw them in one turn. Once you've done that, you can take out the screws that keep it in the headpiece. And I prefer to take them fully out. And then you should be able to take out the strings. And now we're gonna put in the new strings. And I'm gonna start off with a little tip to make getting the string in there easier especially getting it through uh, all the way through the tuner. If you take the end and you measure off roughly two centimeters and you give it a little kink like so, you can still get it in the center and you can twist it so that it comes out this end. If we wouldn't have that kink there, it would run into the front of the tuner and you have a hard time getting it up and out. So that is my tip to get the strings in there Okay, so guys, uh, as you can see, uh, you don't have to clip off the ball ends anymore. Uh, these are a string through design and you can exchange them yourselves by taking out the grub screw, uh, sliding it out and then putting uh, the new one with the bearing in. Okay, before we're gonna install the strings in the headpiece, I want to talk to you guys about the screws that, uh, that fix them in the headpiece. Those are stainless. What I usually suggest is that you rotate them. If you, if you take the one uh, of the high E string and place it to the wound strings, uh, because they do tend to get little indentations which can cut the string. It's because it's stainless, it's a little bit softer. I mean, we could use hardened steel as well but they tend to rust that's why we still prefer stainless if you feel like the dent is too much you can take a piece of sandpaper and i have a 240 grit piece of sandpaper so now you could sand it a little bit to get rid of uh, the sharp bits on the end of it okay guys so we're gonna put the strings in the headpiece uh, you're gonna need the three millimeter Allen key. Just take a string, hold it in place, take one of the screws, screw it in. I always like to twist it back so that I can feel the thread slipping and then going in. Keep a little bit of tension on the string and then Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna snip off the ends of the string. We made these grooves 
in the hat piece so that we can consolidate the string or conceal it rather if you will so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lift up the string lift it up as much as I can without actually bending the string this is gonna take some fuel for the material but you'll get it you want to bend up the string and then snip off the end and because we didn't bend it it'll spring back into the slot gonna do that with the next ones as well bend it up without actually bending it so it can spring back into the slot and that way the string is concealed and you don't have any sharp ends sticking out okay so next thing we uh, want to do is tighten down the grub screws that hold the strings in place these screws can help with stability uh, but they're also there to prevent the tuner from rotating. So you want to just get them all the way down. Just thread them all the way down. With the thinner strings, you might want to take care. Just put your finger in there and check if it doesn't move to the side. With the thicker strings, especially the wound strings, that's never going to happen. So once we fully set those screws, uh, we can start tuning still with the rubber shim underneath the tremolo. Uh, don't take it out at this point. You first want to start tuning the guitar, get tension on the strings. And then once it's tuned, you can take out the block and then retune it again. And you should be set. Okay, change the strings with Ferdy. Uh, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see each other next time.